All right, today going to do a quick video, and this one is really about bleeder resistors only. And the only reason I'm using this um, Mako 300 is because I was done with it, and I was going to button it up. And before I buttoned it up, I'm like, hey, this would be a good one to um, do the bleeders on. Um, you know, the covers were already off, or the top, the bottom cover, and um, it's got the new bleeders I put it, not bleeders, but new caps and new bleeders too because this amp originally didn't have bleeders so that's the new caps, the blue ones on the right big blue uh, uh, snap-in type caps and those um, two resistors to the left of the big blue caps are um, added bleeder resistors that I put in it myself because uh, the amp didn't have bleeders um, I used uh, 220 kiloohm or 220 K resistors on this one. Um, it's really not critical on what resistance you use in a bleeder. Um, the higher you go, like you know 330 K or 470 K, it just means it's going to take a few more minutes for it to bleed down all the voltage. Um, the higher you go, the longer time it's going to take to bleed it down. So if you go with like um, 470K, it may take like four or five minutes, you know, once you turn it off for it to bleed it down. And with these uh, 220K I got, it probably takes about two minutes. And if you go lower to like, you know, 100K, you probably can bleed it down in one minute or 30 seconds. Um, but, you know, time is not critical to me. So... 220k is a good compromise you know most CB amps the caps are gonna have about three four hundred volts across each cap so uh, for me 220k is a good compromise but also note that the lower you go with resistance the more power that the bleeders are going to uh, draw or suck away from the amp so um, I did Ohm's Law on this one, and each of those bleeders at the voltage on this one um, is going to draw about uh, point, about 6 watts, no, point 0.6 watts, about half a watt, a little over half a watt each. So uh, with two of them, it's going to draw over one watt. But if I went down to like 100K, it'd probably draw like two, two and a half watts. Um, on it and that's you know a lot of heat you know going up with a wasted power so for me you know a half watt draw is a good thing you know if you went higher in the number of course it would draw less but then again you got a longer bleed time so that's it on the times this over here is the old original caps that were in this amp that I actually dug out the trash to make this video just to give you a visual of um, what the original caps look more like in most amps. The originals usually look like that in these old uh, sweep tube CB amps. Um, most of them have three and as you see they're 450 volt but um, I think I went with 500 volts here uh, on the caps and the amp runs at about uh, um, 875, so two 500 volts in series there give me a thousand volt uh, uh, tolerance or what they can take. So ought to be plenty um, of voltage for them. So anyway, we can get rid of that. Just wanted to give you a video of what uh, old caps look like, and that's the new original ones on there, and. There are many ways to bleed it down if an amp doesn't have bleeder resistors. Um, you can actually bleed it down with a meter um, if you connect your meter to the high voltage. But it's going to take a while again because um, it's basically like hooking up a high resistant cap to it. Um, another way, now this has been off and drained for a long time so um, I don't have to worry about the cap caps being charged. But um, actually this white jumper here if you see the tape in the middle I have um, two uh, 200k resistors similar to that in parallel though not in series across it so those two resistors would give me a um, total of 100k 
which uh, pull, you know, uh, maybe uh, a little over one watt. So it'll pull pretty good and it'll bleed it, bleed it down pretty quick. And, you know, I could hook a jumper directly from ground over here to the high voltage, which is that one. But a safer way is I put the jumper on the screwdriver and I use the screwdriver to um, touch the uh, high voltage or hold it and it'll bleed it down that way and again this jumper has the resistors in there another way you could do it is hook up a jumper directly you know without the resistors but if you have a lot of charge in the caps when you do that you're gonna get a spark and an arc and um, um, the caps are gonna dump all the voltage and power they have at once um, and that's not good for the caps to dump it all at once and have that arc. It, it's a pretty good stress on the caps to uh, ground them out directly when they're you know fully charged up. So the better way is to make you a little jumper. Use a uh, 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 100K, 200K, it doesn't matter. It's just the lower you go, the quicker it's going to bleed it down. And I, again, touch them like this. Um, also, you can test the voltage on the um, uh, caps with your meter. I used to hook up jumpers like that, but as I got older and a little sm smarter, laid the camera down. Again, this amp has been off and, and drained for a long time. I'm trying to get the picture in my hands. And nowadays when we put a jumper, we do it like this. That way it's no exposed metal when I'm uh, hooking it, the jumper to the test lead. And we're going to hook the jumper uh, to the high voltage carefully, even though it's discharged. And my meter goes up to 1,000 volts. If you have a cheaper meter that goes up to 400 or 500, whatever, um, remember these amps run about uh, eight 900 volts on them. So we got the meter hooked up. The other lead is to the ground with the black um, lead there. And making sure nothing else is touching. And we're going to fire it up right quick. Just to show the um, meter reading the voltage. Actually, we're on the low side, and the low side gives you half the voltage out of this amp. So it's um, 485 volts on the low side. So we're going to leave that alone and um, basically turn it off. We wanted to show the volts, but with the bleeders and the meter connected, you turn it off now. You can see the um, voltage draining, uh, draining down. probably take about a minute again if it was at on the high at 900 volts it would take a little longer but you can see it draining pretty quick so you can use a meter to test the voltage to see uh, how much you got and if I just hit the meter alone without the uh, bleeders in there the meter alone would pull you know a little bit off the caps and it would drain it it just would take you know 10 times longer than this And also, right quick, I'm going to touch my um, made up 100K uh, to the high voltage too. Using my screwdriver and notice I'm way up on it, no metal uh, close to me or close to it. Now I got the screwdriver on there with the 100K resistors and you can see how fast it's uh, draining it down now. pretty quick so I'm gonna wrap this one up I think I covered everything I wanted to on a bleeder resistor so that's it um, I also recommend using gloves when you're playing with this because um, you know high voltage does arc and you never know what's gonna happen or accidentally touch something you won't so I do recommend using a uh, 
rubber gloves or insulated gloves before playing with this also. And if you have an amp that uh, uses real transmitting tubes like 3500Zs or even uh, 572Bs or bigger, you know, uh, uh, ceramic or metal tubes, they usually run on two, three, you know, you get a big amp with, uh, you know, three, six, fifteen thousand or something. Um, you know, they, they might run on um, 12,000 volts or something like that. And um, if you don't know what you're doing at all with them, don't play with them. Don't hook your meter to those amps. Uh, uh, um, I'd say don't do it. If you're not a tech, don't mess with those amps. You'll, you'll kill yourself. This is, again, sweep tube amps, you know, which run, you know, 900 volts, 800 volts. Um, dangerous, but... You know, unless something stupid happened and you have it on or something, probably not lethal. Especially if you uh, um, do it right. If it has bleeders or you bleed it down yourself, carefully. And we're down to 1.8 volts and um, going down. And uh, another 30 seconds it hit zero. 1.8 is, you know, safe. You know, I think any time you get under 50, you're pretty much um, safe to deal with. But... Anyway, it'll take it down to zero, and that's going to be it. Just my thoughts on um, bleeder resistors. I put them in when I when an amp doesn't have them, and uh, I bleed it down and check, even if it does, because a bleeder resistor can and do open. And the thing about using two of them, like on this amp, is that even if one of those resistors goes bad and opens at least a second resistor will still bleed down you know the other caps or if you got you know a string of like uh, six caps and and six bleeder resistors if one of them goes bad the rest of the bleeder resistors will still bleed down the rest of the caps it's just the one uh, cap that the bleeder resistor went bad on uh, a half voltage but uh, that shouldn't be enough to be lethal you know you be careful of it but it is not gonna kill you you know even with the bad bleed around there alright I've been long-winded enough that's it for this one be safe out there Bye.